Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for our radio audience tuning in at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all could be with us. Also, tuning in to our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast, we're glad you all could join us as well. Today, we're talking about the importance of wildlife conservation, and it comes because of a new red list that's been reported that 41,000 species are currently threatened with extinction. By conserving wildlife, though, we're able to not only reduce endangered endangerment and extinction risk, but also ensure that future generations can enjoy our beautiful wild kingdom. And so to talk to us more about this, we're excited to welcome Peter Gross to our broadcast. Peter is not only a wildlife expert, but also the host of a brand new show that premiered this year. It's called Wild Kingdom Protecting the Wild. We'll talk to him not only about the importance of wildlife conservation, but also how you all can be a part of that as well. Peter, thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Yeah, the pleasure is definitely all mine. So, you know, we hear a lot of times about about conservation, Peter, and wildlife conservation. What exactly does that mean, and why is it so important? Well, it, it's more important now than ever, and it's about uh, protecting wildlife and the habitat in which it lives. Um, I think um, we have all we all appreciate now through television shows um, like Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. Uh, for years and years learning about the plight of wildlife. And now this next generation sees they really proactive and want to know what they can do to help. So I think as we set aside more, uh, more wild lands, uh, appreciate the fact that some of our species are making a return, and take uh, young people out to experience nature and enjoy wildlife and take your binoculars along and, and appreciate the beauty of having uh, nature so near to us uh, as important. And then, of course, ask what you might be able to help to do at the local level, maybe replanting uh, trees that have been burned, uh, removing uh, uh, species that are harmful to wildlife, and then, of course, um, doing what you can in your own backyard to make it wildlife friendly. Yeah. And, of course, uh, Peter, you mentioned, of course, the importance of broadcast. So congratulations again to you on your program. Tell us about the new series, Peter, and what it's been like for you to highlight some of these conservation success stories. Well, it's, it's, it's a wonderful series. We're so proud of Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom Protecting the Wild um, because it's, it's certainly following the legacy of Mutual of Omaha, who's been educating families for over 60 years now. Um, the new series uh, deals with bear cubs that were rescued in the Pacific Northwest after the fire, their rehabilitation, and eventually being released back to the wild. Um, the condors, the, the very uh, endangered condors that are making a comeback as well. And our story is about the comeback of the California condor. Um, nuclear crocs of the Everglades. Uh, most people aren't aware there are crocodiles uh, in North America that are surviving well with the help of conservation projects in Florida and making a comeback as well. Also in Florida and California, wildlife crossings are being installed. So wildlife can cross under freeways or over freeways without risking um, being hit by cars. In, in Florida, again, uh, coral, the disease was wiping out an awful lot of the coral. Coral has been collected, pre-diseased coral, and reproducing in captivity, and we go film it as we reattach coral and graft it to the wild. And all 10 of the shows, like the beaver populations that are being helped to be restored and the importance of them, and the turtles and the manatee that are coming back in Florida, uh, the tale of the most endangered wolf at all, the red wolf, and how the stories that we grew up with of the, the big bad wolf really isn't the big bad wolf. It's the top of the food chain and an important indicator species. Uh, and then sea otters coming back off the coast of California. And then, of course, I think one of the highlights of the series is the ghost of the prairie, which is the mm. black-footed ferret in Wyoming that was thought to be extinct, uh, which was rediscovered and reintroduced. Love that. And, and you mentioned something interesting too, Peter, and that is, of course, what all of us can do. So how can we, I mean, based on what you've been able to do and the work that you do, how can we help to make a positive impact on the wild kingdom? 
Well, I think you, you should take a trip to a national wildlife refuge or parks or other open spaces, uh, participate in, in uh, restoration projects. Um, as I mentioned before, your backyard, think of your backyard as a place where uh, owls may need a place to nest. So if you have a tree with a branch that's broken off and there's a cavity there now, there's a home for an owl that may help keep your rodent population in check. You plant flowers or ragweed or something that is going to be helpful to migrating butterflies, that's a nice plant to have in your backyard. Rocky areas where small animals can get out of the sun and out of the rain uh, during the drought season, maybe some, uh, some water elements. Uh, think of your backyard as a nice place for young people to meet wildlife and see them as they pass through migrating through your yard as sort of a stop-off place uh, to get strong and continue on their trip. Such great information and such great work you've been able to do, Peter. Again, everyone, Peter Gross has been our guest, a wildlife expert, as well as the host of Wild King and Protecting the Wild. Uh, Peter, where can our audience go for more information? Well, I would go to wildkingdom.com, wildkingdom.com, and then, of course, the show airs on RFD TV uh, on Fridays. The first show launched... Uh, Bear Cub Rescue, January 2nd, and they'll be continuing on the rest of the year. Peter, congratulations again, and thank you so much for sharing the information. Really appreciate it. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to talk to you, and, and we're, thank you for sharing the information that uh, Mutual of Omaha is continuing their legacy of educating people about the importance of conservation or their new wildlife show. All ours, Peter. Thank you. And we thank you, audience, for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Let's go make today amazing. Take care.